The Bible says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The Catholic Church says, no, by my divine power I abolish the Sabbath day and command you to keep holy the first day of the week. Dear brother and sisters excuse me, because I speak Italian, but am not speaking English. But, I will speak no Italian, no English but heartfully. I'm not speaking English. But, uh, I will speak uh, no Italian, no English, but... Just being simply, honest, what I am going to say is pretty authentic. Più semplice e più autentica. You have to know something that I have been keeping secret for a long time. Un linguaggio e una grammatica speciale. Very simple two rules. We must take the Bible seriously and make the Bible its own interpreter. Just like the sky and whether you believe it or not the truth is it is blue. Now let me explain in more detail if you did not get that. All what is happening here is very, very prophetic. Tony Palmer, he knows what I am talking about. I found out only recently that the Bible is very accurate regarding this meeting to unite on peace. Yes, peace and safety, brutally truthful. It says after that them sudden destruction. Sudden because we are living in the end times and living like Jesus Christ isn't coming back. But that is what the Spirit says. We are lukewarm and think we are saved when we are not, but actually we are blind, wretched, naked, all over. I am really sad about what is happening, even within my own life and within our stiff-necked suburbs so really your family should not follow me or look up to me anymore, otherwise you and your family will be misled and be thrown into the lake of fire, even kids in the family kiss me and the parents should know better. They really need to be told the truth about me, it is so wrong. I am ashamed to tell you this, but I have secret agenda to deceive you. Yes. It looks good to unite people in a one-world religion. That way I control them better. And you have all, worship me. And in doing this you will really receive the mark of the beast. You do not want that. Really the only way you can avoid it is firstly is to know who God really is. You also need to study God's word deeply, especially the book of Revelation. And Daniel, it reveals who's God's true church and also show who Satan's church really is. And if you know the real difference it's impossible to be deceived. If someone came to you and told you, to go to that church because the Holy Spirit is there, you say to them, I will go if you keep God's law especially the Sabbath. Saturday. Not Sunday get it right. And the person will say, what's wrong with going to church on Sunday? It doesn't matter what day you worship God you are too extreme. And, they will make fun of you and call you an extremist. They are full of garbage, silliness, and hypocrisy. You see we, the leaders in the Catholic Church really changed God's law big time. We got rid of the second law changed the fourth law and we divided the tenth in two, so that actually look like there is ten commandments still but not really. 
This is a secret we have been keeping for a long time yet not many people have realized this. You have all been deceived by a silly and crafty deception of ours. So now, worship idols and pray to Mary. But she is dead. It's time to stop this nonsense. I say this really simply so do not be offended. But I am man of sin mentioned in the Bible, and the Bible calls the Catholic Church the mother of harlots. It is shocking I know, but what is even more shocking, is about most Protestants, apostate Protestants, that is what Christ calls them. However, God's word refers them as daughters of the harlot, because they all are eventually going to join their mother. And together we will, well, receive the mark of the beast, which is the Sunday law. And those who will still choose to keep the Saturday Sabbath will be hunted like dog. It is cruel I know, but I feel more sad for you who choose to keep Sunday because God will hunt you. Only in the second resurrection you will realize you were so stupid but it will be too late. And you will say but God I did not know. But will say, you should have known I made it clear in my word especially revelation. I gave you many clues and sent preachers but you had itchy ears. Your ears were so itchy that you listened to Joyce Meyer and Joel Osteen and think that you could be a Christian and watch The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog, not only that but also The Game of Thrones, The Dance of Dragons not to mention the Lego Movie 2 that was recently released. No, no, you cannot be double-minded Christian, you can only serve one master. Soon you will have to decide, because my wound is about to be healed. You must put away all your sins and repent. Otherwise, you will not be ready, it is time to wake up. Thank you. I can't believe he just exposed us that fool, don't listen to a word he said. He claims he is God and you should worship him. So make sure you do. Just ignore the other stuff. Sure we might be daughters of prostitute but still you do not need to be told such truth of heaven. Go home, and don't share on YouTube, anything that was said here. I have repeatedly offered $1,000 to anyone who can prove to me from the Bible alone that I am bound to keep Sunday holy. There is no such law in the Bible. It is a law of the Holy Catholic Church alone. The Bible says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The Catholic Church says, No, by my divine power I abolish the Sabbath day and command you to keep holy the first day of the week. And lo, the entire civilized world bows down in a reverent obedience to the command of the Holy Catholic Church. T. N. Wright, C. S. S. R in a lecture at Hartford, Kansas, February 18, 1884. The Catholic Church for over 1,000 years before the existence of a Protestant, by virtue of her divine mission, changed the day from Saturday to Sunday. The Catholic Mirror, September 23, 1893. Question, which is the Sabbath day? Answer, Saturday is the Sabbath day. Question, why do we observe Sunday instead of Saturday? Answer, we observe Sunday instead of Saturday because the Catholic Church in the Council of Laodicea, A.D. 336, transferred the solemnity from Saturday to Sunday. P. 
Peter Geierman, The Converts Catechism of Catholic Doctrine, 2nd edition, 1910, page 50. Question, have you any other way of proving that the church has power to institute festivals of precept? Answer, had she not such power, she could not have done that in which all modern religionists agree with her. She could not have substituted the observance of Sunday, the first day of the week, for the observance of Saturday, the seventh day, a change for which there is no scriptural authority. Stephen Keenan, A Doctrinal Catechism, page 174. There is but one church on the face of the earth which has the power or claims power to make laws binding on the conscience, binding before God, binding under penalty of hell fire. For instance, the institution of Sunday. What right has any other church to keep this day? You answer by virtue of the third commandment. The papacy changed the fourth commandment and called it the third, which says, Remember that thou keep holy the Sabbath day. But Sunday is not the Sabbath. Any schoolboy knows that Sunday is the first day of the week. I have repeatedly offered $1,000 to anyone who will prove by the Bible alone that Sunday is the day we are bound to keep. And no one has called for the money. It was the Holy Catholic Church that changed the day of rest from Saturday, the seventh day, to Sunday, the first day of the week. T. Enright, CSSR, in a lecture delivered in 1893.